Hello, everyone. Welcome to Super Jerry 27's Nerd Cave. Uh, this is going to be like a two-part spliced together video because I am going to be doing the Bill Morrison signing. Um, the Simpsons has been a huge part of my life since I was 10, 1989, when they first hit. I, you know, I had the shirts. I've got the, the, the Simpsons sing the blues album. For the, you know, the, the butt end of this video, I will bring out some cool signed things that I have that I'm very proud of. Um, because I did get to meet Matt Groening at a San Diego Comic Con. I was 16, so 97, 98, the heyday of uh, The Simpsons. This is post Conan O'Brien, unfortunately. Still good stuff, but I found this puppy on eBay for about $62, shipping included, so everything was 62 bucks. Not bad. Um, it's a 9.4, Bartman number one. It has some spine ticks. I don't know if you can catch them. But it has some spine ticks that don't break the color. And the same seller was selling a 9.8 for $400. I'm like, I'll take the cheapie, send it to get signed, get it pressed, and see what happens. If it comes up, it doesn't. If it doesn't, either way, this book will be staying in my collection because I just love The Simpsons. Like, I, at first, I loved Bart. Thought he was cool, you know, little shit kid, because I was a good kid. I couldn't be a little shit kid. I get the look, you know, the look that I'll fucking eat you, you know. But I would get that look. Parents never touched me, never did anything like that. They, did, I had the look, or no television. And no television when you're ten is like, oh, the world is ending. And I, I have, I want to say the first three years of all the Bongo comics, but I only have one copy of each. So I was on the hunt. I wanted to either get Bartman number one or Radioactive Man number one because it glowed in the dark. Radioactive Man was quite expensive and it's black. So the damage just, I don't know, this came out in 93, so it's almost 30 years old. Um, it's hard to get in good shape. Mine is perfect. I probably read it once, tucked it away. It's perfect, but I finding one, I didn't want to spend that much money. I just wanted Bill Morris's signature because I never met him at a con. Um, Bartman number one, Bongo Comics, 1993. Stephen Cindy Vance, the story. Phil, Ot Phil Ortiz, Bill Morrison, and Tim Bavington Art. So that is what I see there. Hey, that's the radioactive man I wanted. But see how it's all black? Every Everyone I, I've seen, just the spine is absolutely destroyed. I'm like, oh, 30 bucks? Oh, would you give that to an orangutan before you wanted to sell it? But yes, this is going. His due date is January 27th. It will probably be in the mail next week, and I won't get it back for probably six months, and then I'll finish this video up and show it off to everybody. Yep, that's it. I will see you soon. Oh, yeah. Still with a beard, though. Maybe longer, like Gandalf or some shit. Few moments later. All right. The book is back after a couple of months. Um, so here she is. Bartman number one, newsstand edition with a lovely Bill Morrison signature on it. Um, now, once again, pressed. Uh, I think I did a good job with this. I got a 9.6. It bumped up, you know, 0.2. I can't complain about that. Um, considering the 9.8s were going for like the 500s, I got a 9.6 with a signature. This is staying in my collection. So I'm very pleased with this. Bartman number one, Bongo Comics Group, 1993, signed by Mill Morrison on 21023. Just missed my birthday by four days. That kind of sucks. Steve and Cindy Vance Story, Phil Ortiz, Bill Morrison, and Tim. Ravington or Bavington art, silver foil cover, Bartman poster, a dollar ninety-five edition, manufactured without poster and silver foil. I need to see if I have that one. And then, of course, that's the one I wanted to get signed, but I was—I only have one copy, and mine's pristine. I couldn't find a good copy just because of all the black and the spine. Spine ticks really hit these '90s books for some reason. I, I don't know if you can see it. They're there, so I'm not disappointed. I figured a pressing would take them out, but I think they're just so. Well, if, if any of these people, I'll do it again. Fuck it. Chuck it in the fuck it bucket. So I love The Simpsons. As I wanted to show something else off that I have. And that's my The Simpsons Christmas book. It's the first print. Uh, when did it come out here? 1990. I was 11 years old. 
fuck. Okay, anyway, so there's the book. Um, I was lucky enough to meet Matt Groening, and he signed and dated it for me. I met him on July 29th, 1995. This is one of my uh, prized possessions. Uh, let's try to get my hand out of the way. I don't want to break the spine. To Jerry, Homer Simpson, because Homer's my favorite. Matt Groening, 722.95. It was at San Diego Comic Con. This was the only thing that I had to have him sign, unfortunately, but uh, I love this book. I've had this book for a long time. And now we're going to go into a little bit with the conspiracy theories. Like when I was, let's see, 95, I was 16. I had no idea about like the Masons and the corruption from the elite in this world. As you grow up, you grow older. Um, more information is passed down to you. <clears throat> and um, I found out that Matt Groening is a 33rd degree Mason, which is the highest Mason you can be. Which makes sense. This is the huge conspiracy thing. You might think I'm crazy. I don't know. It's interesting to think about. But it makes sense as to all the predictions in The Simpsons that they've had. There's videos upon videos on YouTube and TikTok that, that show all the predictions that The Simpsons had. And him being a 33 degree Mason, he knew the story plans. They, they write this world. I mean, <clears throat> before uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg died, she said, I want to wait before the next president is installed in office. Not elected, installed. None of these people care about us. They only care about their money and their power. Um, and until people start to wake up more, and realize just the, the awfulness and dystopian world that we're actually living in, nothing's going to change. Um, they keep us divided, we stay divided, and we get nothing done, nothing accomplished. Uh, thankfully, France and, and Brazil and stuff are fighting back, but uh, who knows when anyone else will. So that's my little rant on conspiracies. You can look all this stuff up. Please feel free. Uh, open your mind. Next video, I'll get back to comics. But yeah, who doesn't love Bartman? I'm, I'm super Jerry today. So kind of go back into my little little nugget of nice in my house where I don't have to deal with the dystopia and the 1984, the Animal Farm, the Fahrenheit 451 that is actually taking place right outside my door. Just think about it. Read more. Enlighten yourself. Research. Bye.